Hey gang, we are at Graceland Cemetery, north side of Chicago. We're back here, and I'm going to show you the grave of someone we've been searching for. Her name, Emma J. Adams, and her child. Her body was stolen from the cemetery. We told the story. I'll put the link up here and in the description box if you haven't seen it. But yeah, the resurrectionists came for the doctors. They stole her body, put it in a barrel to be shipped. They were caught. And we have two awesome viewers that found her grave and the child's. We have Dawn and Diane who basically came together from different parts of the world or country. And they almost at the same time gave me the information and said, hey, we found her and she's right here. And it's a very large monument here. Of course, her husband did pretty well, so you could have expected this, but isn't this grand? We found her grave. And you can see here the inscription, Emma J. Adams, right there. So there's no mistaking, there is no mistaking that she is here. William Henry Adams. Now what's interesting, it's 1894, and we see some other names here. So this is the family plot. Put the camera on all the sides here, and there are a lot of inscriptions. But her grave, is right over here. Right next to William Henry. Right here. So she is here. We did find her grave. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a caveat on this. We had one of our viewers who through comments had basically come in and said that she is not here. And his name is, well, in comments, it's Rob T. And he basically said that, and I'll quote, you were not able to find Emma's grave in Graceland Cemetery because she has no more grave in Graceland Cemetery. After all that has happened, he says that her body was taken back to her hometown of Hartford, Connecticut, where she now lies buried with her parents, Sydney Penny and Eunice Wright Penny in Hartford's Spring Grove Cemetery. So very interesting. You have to wonder, of course, you know, I have to question that she would be there because as I recall from, from the story that I had told, she was either barely buried or she wasn't even buried. I, I, but these stones take well, now they take a year or two, and back then they probably took a month or two. I don't know. But why would the stone be put here if she wasn't returned here? And that's going to be my biggest argument because, of course, when this happened, it was days after she died. Husband couldn't get the stone made. And, you know, they got her back. Stone, a few months later, whenever the stone is made, it's put here, she's reinterred, unless for some reason before he died, William Henry or after, they would have moved her. So I'm going to say she is here. So I guess you could call this a caveat on a caveat, but this is a card, the original file card from the cemetery, the handwritten, goes back to the 1800s, right out of the file box from Graceland, that was given to Dawn. Good job, Dawn, getting this. And you can see here at the top, William Henry Adams, just to the right under his name, it says, moved from 513 feet, 16 inches on August 3rd, 1882. Now, is that for William Henry Adams or is that Emma J. Adams? It's to the upper right of her name. So it's kind of hard to say, but actually I think this lens credence that she is here because it's not when I first saw moved I thought oh moved but 
This is kind of moved over from another spot. It looks like not moved out of the cemetery, but like I say, I think this just adds evidence that she is, she's here. And if you guys have any additional information, anybody, including Rob T, let me know. What do you think? But I say she is here, and thank you for finding her to Dawn and Diane. Emma J. Adams is here resting in peace, and there is a hole for our flower that we can just do this. on this beautiful sunny day. All right, signing out. I'm glad we found our grave. Everybody stay safe. Rest in peace to the Adams.